this is William Baxley with Avenue Drillers. I'm going to show you exactly how to set up a laser printing with the Magic Art software. Right now, what I'm doing is adjusting the laser beam for the height of the material that we are working with. When it gets from two beams to one, we know it's ready to go. All right, next up, we're going to open the Magic Art software and create a new project. And we are going to do a cutout. Now we're going to select a diameter of 19 millimeters by 19 millimeters for our first project. Next, we go to the text selector. Select any font that you currently have on your computer. It's pretty much anything that you can download from the web, you can also have on here. Now we're going to select a font that is very easy to read. We can also select the size of the font and where it is centered and aligned. Now you can input directly into this box or you can type directly onto the page. And it's simpler to type onto the page uh, over the actual uh, piece that you're using. Now we're going to select the text like so and then center it. And then now we're going to center it on the project. Now you can center it based on the horizontal, the vertical, or all combined. Next up, we're going to create a path for the laser engraver to take. Now for this one, it's not a cutting laser. We're going to use an engraving laser and we're going to select the one that's going to give us a nice deep cut. Now you can select an outline or a single line, but this will create a nice deep cut uh, that's very easy to read. And now you need to select the material. For this, we're using anodized aluminum. And we're going to create a normal mark. Now, you can do a deeper mark on this, but for the size of the material, we're not wanting to punch through it. So we're just going to do a nice 0.1 millimeter engraving. I switch over to our laser printer, laser engraver, excuse me. And we are lining up exactly where we want. Now, this text is the first part of a three-part engraving and cutting. So you can line it up with a box, or you can actually select LED contour, which will show you where the actual letters or picture will engrave. And this is a rather quick process. This engraver does have a built-in vacuum that can suck up those vapors. Uh, not currently on at the moment. All right, next up, we're going to work on our cuts. Now, you always want to do the engraving first and then the cuts for obvious reasons. Once it's cut out, it's a lot more difficult to do very precise engravings. We're creating an exterior cut, and you can shore up the sides like so. And next, we are going to do an interior cut. Uh, you can use this for charms, you can use this for um, small pendants. Uh, what we use it for is ornaments. 
So we have our cutting line. Now, magic art can get a little finicky sometimes if you leave both of these lines here. Because if you accidentally select them both and sent them to cutting, it can overtax the resources of the program. Because this is a software heavy and not hardware heavy software. All right, so we have our exterior cut. We have our text that's already been entered. Now, when you're doing the text, you can also do exactly what we're doing right now for the cuts. You can select it and make a engraving line. That being said, if it's basic text, you don't need to do that step. Um, now, if you're doing a picture, absolutely. A cut, absolutely. But it's not 100% necessary for simple engravings. If you're going to engrave the back of a charm, let's say, you don't need to take the time to create those lines. All right, next up, interior cut. This is exactly like the exterior cut. And like I said earlier, you'll want to do this one next uh, before you do your large exterior. Now let's say you do the large exterior. You can go back and do this. You need a special tray called a cutting tray. Uh, how we have it shored up right now and a vise you can, but it's more difficult than it needs to be. So, we've created our vector contour there, our cutting line, and we're shoring it up, and we're going to center it on the project, and there it is. All right, let's move on and actually cut this sucker out. So, we're going to create a cutting line. And you'll see that this is actually two lines thick. Um, this gives you a much stronger area to do the cutting. And you should always plan on the center line for when you're doing exterior cuts and the outer line when you're doing interior cuts. Normally, this doesn't take the whole process, especially on larger cuts. And you can stop at any time in case it cuts through before the cycle is completed. I recommend you do not press the emergency stop on the actual laser unit. It can knock everything out of alignment. Save that for worst case scenarios. There's a cancel button, uh, a stop button on the software, and there is a stop button to on the right of the actual control panel on the laser engraver itself. So here we are showing you the actual interior cut. Just a few passes and you can start seeing the uh, sparks go through the bottom and then the piece actually just drops out. And usually, you can handle it right away. It's not uh, going to be super hot to the touch. All right, now for our exterior cut. The same process as the interior. Know that it will cut a little closer than you're expecting because of that dual line. All right, here we go. The last cut of the day. Shoring it up there. Outside the text. So that's good. And please like and subscribe to see more of these videos. It really does mean a lot to us for you to like, comment, and subscribe.
All right, so we're one pass into it, and you can see when the second pass starts, it creates just a momentary blip as the laser re-centers itself. Usually on this specific card, three passes is all you need, and you will need to press the stop button. You see those extra sparks? You're cutting through the, the material at that point, and it should drop out just about any time now, probably on this last lap. I like showing this in real time so you get the sense on just how easy and quick that this is. And there it goes. It has dropped through, hit the cancel button, and there is the finished project. Very clean, very efficient. I love this machine, and I love this software. Please subscribe for our future videos, and thank you for watching.